remember. What's up, Michelle? I don't normally do this, but I thought you'd probably be pretty lonely having just moved to Liberty City and all. You do not normally do what? You're not making this easy for me, are you? I'm asking you out on a date. I am sorry. I am still not used to how things work here in America. A date would be good. I am getting sick of hanging out with Roman all the time. Uh, how about I pick you up from your apartment? That sounds good. See you soon. Listen, Darden is a good friend of mine. It was a misunderstanding. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Shit! There he is! Keep on fat boy here, and I'll talk to him. Our problems with your cousin. I told you to stop. Now it's too late. Did you think I was a joke? I do not go down so easy!
we think of your debts? <laughs> You are right, cousin. Yeah. Fine. Fucking lawn sharks, man. If one more of these gangsters tries to... Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get it. You drive. I don't feel so good. Get in the fucking car! There's what we owe you, Darden. Nothing else. Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. the sale and possession of weapons in the city, he's also going after shops in other states that are providing illegal gun dealers with merchandise. Residents and these men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian, Bulgari. We live on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. To see you first, of course. Of course. 
We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. Jesus, holy shit! Thank you, cousin. I'll see you later. Hey, it's Nico. Hey, I'm just finishing my hair. Come in. Thank you. I'll be with you in a minute. Did you just move in? No. Why? All your stuff is new. Some even still have tags on. Yeah, well, I like things clean. I can see that. But uh, everything is new. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with cleanliness. Things get on my nerves and I just throw them out. OCD or something? Oh. So, where are you taking me? Uh... You look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the, uh... Fun fair. Yeah, great! Let's go! Love the fun fair! Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de do. <laughs> It began on the streets of South Bowie. 
So, Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? He's made some mistakes. Got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he is a legitimate businessman. What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. safety regulations anyway there's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk why don't we play a few frames cool let's go bowling then thanks for taking me out I haven't been on a date for a while I'm kind of lonely here I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me you're the local I'm not a local in Liberty City I came here from somewhere where? Oh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Beg your pardon. Ah, I see a bowler before me. okay for me. I'm not great at life, but I ball like an angel. Fall down eventually. There's nothing to it. Better not be playing. Don't me. go in the gutter ball. That's the last of them down. This is it. Shame we couldn't 
finish that game, Nico. It was fun playing, though. Can you take me back now? Of course I'll take you home. Let's go. So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my dad. Well, what do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess. So what are you doing here in Liberty City, Nico? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed a new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City, then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. That was nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Come on, Patty. Forget about the fat, sir. Ugh, Vlad's shut up. But he's a serf, and you're a countess. Uh, talking about serfs. Oh, hey, Nico. Where's Roman? <laughs> Good question. Hey, Yoko, your dumb cousin isn't here. Go get me a coffee. What? Get me a fucking coffee! Come on, I'll get you one. What? You keep staring at me. I'll burst one of your eyeballs. Gorgeous, this guy's a fucking creep. Give him a break. He's new in the country. I can see that. Did you walk here from 1985? Yeah. Excellent. Now stop fucking staring at me. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything, but come on. Uh, hey, Mallory. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> About time. Vlad, Vladdy boy, what's going on? Roman, Roman boy, you tell me what's going on. That's aftershave. What is that? Sex pest? No. <laughs> it's where is my fucking money? I, I had it. I, I had some of it. Then those Albanians you said you would deal with came and smashed my computer. So it's my fault? I, I didn't say that. Good. Anyway, Nico dealt with him. Brought Darden's arm. Then beat up a couple more. Then we teach him a real lesson. <laughs> is that so? I tell you what. While you don't pay, 
Maybe you and Nico can do me few favors. Sure. <laughs> Good. Why not? Play to Vlad. What? The phone's ringing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can't do it. My cousin will do it. Yes, he can drive. No, he's not a cop. His name is Nico. You'll be right over. Nico, sorry to ask, cousin. Can you go pick up Jermaine, one of my regulars? He's over on Rotterdam Hill on Mohawk Avenue. Whatever. What was this all about? Nico came in looking for you, and Vlad told him to get him a fucking coffee, and Nico didn't want to. Coffee? What was he thinking? I know. for coming. Can you take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. My car. Shit, I thought Roman was gonna pick me up. I need someone I can trust for this run. I'm Roman's cousin. If you can trust him, you can trust me. Ah, uh, he told me about you. You're Nico, right? The hotshot ladies' man cruising around the Mediterranean, breaking hearts and making millions? Yeah, I traded in the yacht for this cab. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of bullshit I can imagine Roman making up. You've got to give him credit for his imagination. Yeah, you got him. I had a feeling you sounded too good to be true. The question is, are you willing to get your hands dirty? My hands haven't been clean for a long time. Being here in Liberty City is just making them dirtier. Okay, okay. I gotta pick up some hot parts for my lockup. You down? That door isn't meant to be open. Wait here while I take a look. The cops are on to me. Get us out of here. Shit, man, you gotta lose these cops. Park your vehicle in turn. Suspect last seen in the black sedan. Lose the cop, man! Lose the fucking cop! Suspect Shit! Vehicle. another minute. settled in, you know. Roman has had some issues with the loan sharks that needed to be resolved. There's this asshole called Vlad, who he owes money to as well. Okay, we're here. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, all right? Roman, I 
got your friend Jermaine where he wanted to go. Good, Nico, thanks. I can't talk to you soon. the bells. I'm sorry. You better start remembering important people, you dumb peasant. Your cousin owes me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Kamrat's bar in Mohawk. I have a work for you. you can get of me. Russian sausage Welcome. Hi. It's my real pleasure to serve you. Enjoy your meal, fatso. Well, hello. Food and a hand job? Here you go. Binge away. Ah, uh, fuck you! You're a bunch of pussies and fags! Nice! I'm going back to the meeting! Good! I'm going to be somebody! Yeah, yeah. See you later, Mel. You always were an asshole, Mickey! Hey, watch where you're going! Hey! Hey! I tried to tell you... Fuck to you! Excuse me. So, Ivan, I see you later, okay? Yoko, Fetty Roman's cousin. What's your name again? Big Mouth Prick. Very catchy. Sit down. Cousin... Uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not Big Mouth Prick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's... I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take the shit? Yes, me give out. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me get fucked with. Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months. And I'm not kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. Jingoism Act at the request of the President, saying that we must fight terrorism at home. Citizens 
responded to the news. So I take it away freely if you don't use anyway. What, you want the terrorists to win? Hey, what do I care? I'm not doing anything wrong. I mean, apart from the occasional joint or fiddling with my tax return to help my sister move that merchandise she found. Oh, yeah, and banging hookers. Also in Patriotism News, brought to you by the hit TV show 72, counterterrorism officials are setting up a new task force to deal with the rising Eastern European crime wave and liberty. Hey, let me in. You have led protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I'm so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. Vlad should pay me to tell punks like you to go away. He get no money. Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! Here's the money! I hope you and Vlad choke on it! Sure, whatever. Hey, Yurkel. You managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. I had to smash the shop up pretty good, but he paid. Don't worry your little peasant head about it. Stupid jerk made a mistake of telling me how much he gets that shit for back east. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. <laughs> 